Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bushcraft North 60. Today, we're just going to have a little cookout. And I'm going to share with you guys a little recipe that I like. It's pretty simple to cook out and fire. You can even do it at home in the cast iron too. But something nice about cooking outdoors. We've got a nice beautiful day here in the Northwest Territories. By beautiful, I mean summer's here and it's hot. And by hot, I mean it's stinking hot. That's okay. We'll take what we can get. We've got some clouds off in the distance, some thunderheads. We had a little bit of smoke in town this morning, but that's blown away. Must have changed directions and stopped coming into town. But we're on the Yellowknife River. Don't think we're going to go super far up, maybe halfway or so. Just far enough that we can go have a little fun. So enjoy the trip. We'll see you guys in a minute. like a good spot as any. Guess we'll find out when we get ashore here. What a windy day. Really should have left earlier. Check the weather maybe that would have been helpful. Now it's coming this way. It's one of those stupid winds it doesn't know what way to come from so it just comes from everywhere. I've ever been here. Oh, it looks very shallow. Be hard pressed to get a jet in. Need some boots. Oh well, yeah, there's foot tracks here. That says a lot. Some poor in the side here. A skull and draw. Slipper over. Alright. Go, folks well, let's see what our spots like here here's the front yard so that way goes to Yellowknife and that way goes up to Prosperous Lake if you guys want to Google Earth that see where we're at first got the old Grumman here looks like a bear trail there bear or moose maybe who knows some sort of game trail I suppose they all use everything to a degree and I can't use my shotgun here because this is part of the not the no shooting corridor but it's actually part of city limits still I think I'll have to check yeah and I forgot my bear spray in the car I think so but we already have a fire ring which is handy may or may not modify that a little bit for my purposes. So wind. Wind is a pain in the butt sometimes. But thinking about bears, I've got, well, I did have the wind going this way. I figured this would be the best shore to paddle to as well as have food cooking on. But now it appears to be coming down this way. So I'm definitely going to keep my eyes open down that way for critters, eyes and ears. I mean, every direction you should, but I'm going to pay extra attention that way. Yeah. Rub dub dub, let's get us some grub. I might end up on a bald island today, but we didn't make it. But uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt to bring a little bit of wood with you, at least just to get that first fire started. Gives you time to go look for your uh, firewood. What else have we got? Haversack. Got my mess kit. More cordage. That's what I'm looking for. I 
everybody. doesn't want to peel that way, so we'll go this way. There. Wish you guys could see the bugs here. Fine shavings. I should have another fat piece here. That'll do. Tinder, we got our smalls and our fuels all good to go. Yeah. Sun's out. Huh, you know what that means? We could try some solar ignition. Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to see that. But... Got an ember. Ooh. Got a hot ember. Get down in there. Just gonna bury that in our chips. Let the wind work for us. Ooh, we have fire. Well, it should be strong enough on its own now.
it's been rainy here for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I'll take all the uh, all the solar fire I can get. It's kind of fun, something different. Now, since we're done with this axe for the time being, the safest place to keep your axe is in the sheath. And it's safe for the axe too, not just yourself. Alright guys, what's today's recipe? Well, you're going to need your handy dandy bushcraft tin foil. A can of Spam. My personal favorite is just the original flavor. It seems to be the cleanest one, too. And some wraps of your choice. And you'll see why in a minute. Because we are going to cook something awesome. Yeah, you probably can't see this, but I've got all kinds of ants here, too. I'm just going to do this real quick because I... Uh, Mainly I'm doing this over here just to keep you guys in the shade so that doesn't overheat on me. So, I'm going to get myself a plate and I'll be right back. Alright guys. I could take my axe and clean that up. But, well, I'm just going to use some aluminum foil. Pretty sure somebody peed on this campfire last time they put it out. And it's too late. But anyways. Alright, so open up our spam. Which is basically the world's most perfect food. Look at that. You can save this actually for uh, char cloth too, if you were gonna put some cloth in here, some cotton or even some uh, some punky wood. And then just put your tin foil on top of this, throw out the fire, and away you go. Now take the knife, which in my case has a bunch of hamburger juice on it still. And we're going to cut this into cubes. Alright guys. Now all your cubes, kind of separate them and get them a little uh, disorganized there, because I let the heat come up through it. It is already cooked, but it's nice to have it a little more, I don't know, every piece should have a turn at the heat, I guess. So I'm just going to make a little bundle here and fold these in. And then same thing with the top. Make a joint. It's like a little pierogi. If you're out in the bush, try to do this without getting it on your clothes. If you're in bear country or any other sort of predators you got to worry about. I guess you guys in the UK, the worst thing you have is badgers. So there's that. And I'm just going to settle my fire down here, I think. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, oh, that's a little far from the fire, isn't it? No. Trust me, that is... That is more than close enough. I can't even put my hand up there for a few seconds, really, so it's definitely hot enough. Got a little hunter trapper fire. You could, if you let your fire burn down a bit into your coals, just put your tin foil right in there, but I'm going to get some water on the boil here, too, so I need some flame for that. All right, so our meat's done. My tea water is boiled. Ah, what do you need to make a wrap? You need to wrap it up, don't you? Two types of wrap today, too. We've got the tin foil to wrap it, and the actual edible wrap, which is going to be on the inside. So, I have a lot of ants here. I guess I have lots of protein here, too, then, don't I? Yeah, that's bright. So, you're going to need a sheet of your tin foil. 
Hopefully this horsefly takes off here. All right. So we've got a wrap. Oh, and our hot meat. Oh, now see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That looks good. Now, use your nice clean boot to keep that down. Oh boy, that's hot. If you're smart, use a fork or a spoon or something. Get a few cubes in here. Now, when I'm at home, I like to mix up a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of relish half and half with, uh, it's called colon cleanser. It's this hot sauce that I have. It is good though. But, you know what? Just to have something delicious out here in the bush, I'll take this. So I'm gonna roll this up nice and tight. And I'm also going to roll it up nice and tight in here. I don't think there's any ants in there. Anyways, just like a Christmas cracker. And we're going to fix this fire up too. So my fire, put this over here. What I'm going to do actually flip over the wood that I had burning here and the little hunter trapper set up so I've got the hot side up I hope I don't burn this off here because that's toasty I've seen guys use their knives but I'm not a big fan of taking the temper out of your knife oh boy Woo! put that back over there, that whole grill is nothing but hot embers now. So we'll start firing these on there. Rotate them once in a while. And we'll come back as soon as those are ready. There's a loon out there on that side, and there's another couple over this way, but let's crack this baby open and see what it looks like. It's definitely hot. Ooh. Oh yeah, just lightly toasted. Just a little bit of brown on there. <clears throat> I don't even see any uh, ants on it, that must be good. Thank you Heavenly Father for this food, in Jesus name. Mmm. Look at that. That's some good eats, that is. Mmm. Nice. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Got a boat out there. It was screaming along the water there and it turned its bow towards here and then just got down off the steps. I don't know if they were hoping to have supper here, but I'll tell you what, if they don't mind company, they're more than welcome to have some of these wraps. I lied, it was an aluminum boat. Well, I got through three of them. Man, they are filling. Well, I suppose you're eating a can of Spam when you look at it. I got my second cup of tea. This one I could probably float my knife in it. It's been boiling with the bag in it for, oh, for quite a while, probably 10 or 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty satisfying little supper if I don't say so myself.
think we're going to have the wind behind us on the way back. what I'm thinking. Here's a little trick I like to do with those cheap survival blankets. Yeah. Get some Gorilla Tape and a cheap grommet kit. And all the tie-out points that you'd want to have done on it, you can do those in the, uh, in the tape. And then you've actually got something to tie on to. If it ever does hit the fan, and then I just keep one of these in all my kits. But I got an idea.
Pack up our stuff and get out of here. Mm, maybe we'll put this midship. Remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you ghetto. I gotta get going. Fair winds don't last forever. Woo! it's going to work. All right, guys. We'll see you next time from the Northwest Territories here in Northern Canada on another episode of Bushcraft North of 60. Take care. Yeah, now we're cooking with bacon grease. All right, folks, see you guys next time from the Northwest Territories.